This is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use multicam to create a slide montage. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money, all for an incredibly low monthly price of $19.99. Plus, members can attend any of our live Power Up webinars for free. Visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. What I want to do is I'm going to create a stills montage. I'm going to start with that shot, that shot number one. Nice shot. And then well, let's select all of my clips. Option X to get rid of all the ends. Let's select this shot first. Hold the Command key down. Select that shot second. And let's use this as our audio track. Now the reason that I selected three shots is it's going to build three angles in my multicam clip when I put the multicam clip together. So rather than have me have to add the angles manually, which I can do, why not select the three shots you need, which I've done, and have it done automatically. Go up to File, go down to New Multicam Clip. We're going to call this Slide Montage. Now I'm working with stills. This works exactly the same as if I was working with video. It's just that I've got prettier stills and I've got scenics of video. Angle synchronization. There's no markers. These are stills. I can't synchronize automatically. There's no audio on the stills. Instead, I'm going to synchronize based upon the start of the first clip. We're not going to use audio because there's no audio there. All the defaults are just ducky, except I'm going to set this to custom and NTSC 4x3 DV. It's built. Double click it to load it up into the angle editor. Now let's just listen to the music for one second. Why can't we hear it? I'm playing the music. The music is right there. Why? Well, remember I said there were a couple settings I was going to talk about? Well, time. <laughs> this is what we see when we haven't set any angles. This is what we hear. But there's no audio associated with that slide. So I'm going to turn the audio monitor off, go down to my audio track, and turn on the audio setting. And now I can hear it. Press the home key, spacebar. nice cheerful piece of music that I can use to set slides to. Each slide runs about four seconds. So our first shot's going to go right about here. Right there's where the second shot's going to go. Let's pick something, oh, oh that'll be kind of cool. Let's go with, um, let's go with some buffalo. Start our buffalo, drag it down. Notice that I now have two shots in the same track. Scroll down just a bit. Let's go with uh, a desert shot. Now let's go with Lupin. Select our clip, drag it down right about there. Make it a little bit shorter. Let's grab the desert shot, drag it down, stretch it out. Let's do a waterfall shot. And then let's do, um, we'll do the, uh, all right, we'll do this one, fall foliage, and then we'll go to sunrise, sunset. I'll drag this out. I don't want, let's see now, let's change the position here. I don't want that there. Let's take our snow-covered shot and put that down there. All right, now let's see how this flows together. I could play it, which is what I would do normally to set timing, but that's, that's like planning ahead. It's not real interesting, so let's just take a look at the angles. And let's find our multicam clip, type the letter E, edit it down to the timeline, Shift Z, so we get that to fit here. Now, notice that I'm in a letterbox mode. I'll show you how to fix that in just a moment. We'll pretend that these fill the frame. Our audio right now is coming from the still image. That's not right. Click the audio waveform, click the soundtrack so the audio comes from there. Click the video icon because that's what we want to change. And let's hit the space bar.
Okay, well, clearly out of sync because um, in my eagerness to show you how this worked, I didn't pay attention to the timing. So let's just double click this and get it to work like we were planning. So I'll go back to here and let's just play our music. There's shot number one, it's the Bryce Canyon. Then we go to shot two. Then we go up to here, shot three. Play it. And now we go to the Lupin. Okay, now the Lupin needs to last longer, so we'll pull that down, pull that over. And then this shot needs to start right about there. This shot needs to start about there. And then this shot comes in, and then we go to our sunset shot, and life would be better if I just listened to the music and timed it out a little bit closer down here. Okay, go back. Uh, let's just do the whole thing again. I could change it and ripple and roll. Way too much work. Let's just click here, type the letter E, shift Z, home key, and set the audio to come from there, set the video to come from here, try it again. Now here's the cool part. Select all this stuff, Command A, Command T. I've now added a dissolve between all the shots, and the whole thing is done. A little bit of a glitch there. I'll clean that up by going back into the multicam shot, dragging it over. But you got to admit, that was much faster than having to add it as primary, secondary, primary, secondary, build it. It's just fast, fast. I like fast. Fast is a good thing. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at multi-camera editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz store. Look for Webinar 85.